and train hard at the CrossFit again the next day and see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you still taken protein? Yeah, just taking up water, so I've got to find one that actually uses with water and doesn't take us, take us, ass. <laughs> Have you tried the peppermint bark? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's on board. So I want to. Yeah, so I'll let you know. Unless you're not getting enough calories in a day, just take your protein on water. That's what you're going to say as well. So if you're, if there's, obviously there's guys and women as well that are underweight, that are looking to gain size, I'll always recommend that they have their protein shake on almond milk or milk if they can tolerate it, so that you can get those calories in in a healthy manner. So just drinking them rather than eating them, because physically we can only really eat so much. Yeah, so you can still have it on like a lactose free milk, though, can't you? Definitely, yeah, definitely. But you really don't need to. Um, also, with WPI, so the one I mentioned before, the higher, the purest form of protein, um, it is virtually lactose free. Um, car, there's like virtually no carbs, no cholesterol, anything like that. It is pure, it's fantastic. So um, there is other types in the way of pea proteins and soy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have to say it anymore. <laughs> oh, I think just think it's enough for that for me, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Just have to put it out there. There is other types, but yeah. Whey protein isolate is definitely the way to go. Alrighty. Hemp person. Yeah, hemp person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might get extremely hungry afterwards. <laughs> Alright, so any questions on protein? Anything else on protein? 
Alright, who's heard of BCAA? Take it before, but if you take it before a workout where you know you're going to spend 10 